Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. Thank you so very much for being here on the Bounder BB Show. I've got my first interview of the morning. I've got one of my favorites, <laughs> Chef Jamie Gwynn. I keep bringing her back over and over because she has such great food information. And you guys know I'm a big foodie. Chef Gwynn, welcome back. Uh, Valder, I'm so glad to be with you. Thank you. Happy holidays. I have more delicious ideas, so I I'm very grateful to be here. I'm grateful to have you because you're going to talk about, you know, holiday food offerings for Christmas and New Year's. So what are some of the easy appetizers that we can, everyone can prepare and give me some information about that in a main meal? You got it. Okay, so lots of holiday inspiration, some for last minute, of course, because, you know, there, there's always a, the short on time challenge, of course, but a definitely safer at home being considered here. When you think about virtual gatherings or cozy family time, and you talk about an appetizer, I think charcuterie board right away. So easy to create, everybody loves them. And Kellogg's Family Rewards.com has delicious inspiration for DIY meat and cheese platters like this tis the sweetness board. It's actually a great mix of savory and sweet flavors that I love. I use Kellogg's crackers like Townhouse Club, Toasteds, and Cars to pair with cheese, dark chocolate, and oranges. Then the savory meats are the perfect toppings on my Townhouse flip sides or Toasteds harvest wheat crackers. It's really a beautiful board that makes for perfect holiday snacking, in my opinion. And then, Valder, you are going to love this because you are the first to hear about it. Talk about in the know. This is my favorite food <laughs> find for 2020. This is called The Big Cheese, a brand new cheese company. They have an amazingly sharp and premium 12 to 15 year aged Wisconsin cheddar. Now, you have got to taste this cheese. So decadently delicious, especially layered in a grilled cheese sandwich with a cranberry compote. Now, if you're looking for the perf perfect last minute gift, mind you, uh, maybe it's a food loving friend or a relative or a coworker. You want to go to the big grab a two and a half pound for the family, maybe a five pound for gifting, entertaining. It lasts a long time or go all <laughs> out with this 40 pounder. This is for the serious cheese lover, Felder. You're going to, you're absolutely going to love it. I live with, I live with a serious cheese lover. <laughs> so I <laughs> okay, know so how then that is. You've got the perfect holiday <laughs> gift. <laughs> Chef, let me ask you this, but I want to tell my audience, I see your questions out there on social media and I'll get to them after I ask the chef these questions. Chef, what excitement can we add? Because you know, our, our gathering is now limited and we feel like we got to really perform. Yes. Of course. No, I agree with you. I think we're all, you know, challenged to find creative ways as long as we're still safer at home. And I say that you can still create special moments. I think you just have to really make good use of what you have. So why not create a multi-course dinner with wine pairings, right? You know that I love Coravin, Valder, and this is the Coravin Model 3. So all you do is you simply align it over the neck of the bottle, right? And then you push the needle through the cork. And then what you get to do is enjoy a glass of wine from virtually any bottle in your collection. It keeps the wine perfectly preserved for weeks, months, even years, by the way. This is a genius method to allow you to treat your wine rack like a buy the glass menu at home, right? So I believe everyone needs a Coravin. You could drink red, white, or rosé, by the way, all throughout the meal. So I say experiment, explore, and enjoy the wine that you want. And then, of course, I think every great meal finishes with an extraordinary cup of coffee. And this is the Compact Jura Ina 8. This is a coffee machine that offers 10 one-touch specialties from coffee to cappuccino to espresso and flat whites. It grinds fresh coffee beans. There's no capsules, by the way, uh, but this is really an extraordinary cup. It packs a ton of advanced technology. It has an intuitive color screen. You can easily browse and select beverages, but check this out, Valder. You can use your smartphone or your tablet to make your favorite coffee drink from any room in the house. They have an optional Jura Smart Connect with Bluetooth communication, and you use Jura's free app. 
So it comes in three beautiful colors, metropolitan black, sunset red, and Nordic white. This is really serious barista quality at home. And mind you, <laughs> note that I, I've got my hands on the wine and my hands on the coffee, so I think I'm doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I love both of those, Chef. I really do. I love the wine. I could have that for bedtime. Forget the company. And I love the coffee. I love that. I need to take this question from Instagram. Someone says, I know this is not good taste, but I need to know what a charcuterie board is. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's a great question. And if you if you don't know about it, let's make you in the know. So charcuterie is considered uh, the uh, appetizer idea or the the concept of a cured meat uh, could be a bevy of different things. Often, let's say, could be a sausage or salami, a prosciutto, even candied bacon falls under that, right? So charcuterie is the idea of cured meats, and it's used in reference to uh, when you put out cheese and charcuterie, cheese and meat. And so these boards, I call them grazing boards, in fact, Valder, because I could make a meal out of exactly that, right? You've got uh, meat and cheese. You've got your crackers, a little bit of sweet. Maybe you have some honey or jam. Uh, there's wonderful ways to make this uh, an entire grazing session. So if you like to just snack and sip and savor, that's my kind of meal. And a grazing board can be made with just about anything. But cheese and charcuterie is what you see most. You can make a great big platter and uh, share with those that you are safe with. Or if you are gathering outside uh, and you're socially distancing, I recommend that you make individual plates, like small, or even if you have some little baby boards, make individual charcuterie boards so that everyone gets their own. And then you can talk about the cheese and sip the wine. It's a wonderful way to celebrate. Well, my husband and I have happy hour on Friday at home, just me and him. I'm going to do the charcuterie. I love those ideas, Chef. That's why I love talking to you. You made me hungry early in the morning. But, you know, I want my audience to also know that Jamie can be seen on L.A.'s number one morning show. But I think she's my favorite when she's on the Bounder BB show. Chef Jamie Gwynn, thank you so very much for the inspiration. Yeah. Valder, I'm always grateful to spend time with you. Thank you for allowing me to share my passion. I hope that your listeners will go to dailylounge.com for all the recipes and inspiration I just shared. And of course, I hope to see you at Chef Jamie Gwen on social. Valder, please have a safe, wonderful holiday. Eat well, and I cannot wait to talk to you in 2021. Thank you so very much. I think I'll talk to you before then because I love food and I love I know, I love chef. it. I can't wait to. Cheers. Thank you, Chef Jamie Gwen. I really appreciate you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, my friend. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.